my video and today I'm going to do a video of the items that we've been using the most during March and um, I thought it'd be a nice idea not to just do the items I've been using but also my partner um, because he uses things that I don't use um, for example hand soaps because I can't use the hand soaps so um, these are the things we've used the most and um, some of them have popped up before in my previous video so the first thing is the snow fairy spray yep still using this it is running low now so um, I have got another little bottle to use when this one finishes but yeah I really like this I've been using it most days not every day but most days but yeah highly recommend it if you like sweet bubblegum candy floss scents and then the next item is a body lotion and that is sympathy for the skin and I've been using this a lot lately and not only just for um, as a body lotion but also on my hands as a hand cream and this one has um, vanilla in it and um, bananas and the scent is really subtle as well I can't smell bananas so to me it just smells like a really subtle vanilla scent um, it's nothing like the vanilla products from the body shop I find those quite strong um, they're not so much for me I find those a little bit sickly this is a lot more subtle so I much prefer this um, and yeah I've been using this a lot um, I sometimes even go to bed and I have it on my bedside table and I put it on my hands before I go to sleep so that my hands feel moisturised in the morning and also a little goes a long way as well so yeah I highly recommend this if you want to try um, a body lotion or even hand cream and then the next item um, has also featured before in my top 10 and um, that's the American cream hair conditioner um, you can see it is going down and I really like this um, I just find it does suit my hair you don't need to use much either I just use it along the lengths of my hair so I probably use half the amount of this as I would um, any other conditioner I just find that this does go a long way because it is thicker as well you really have to like shake it to get it to come down so yeah I really like this it says it smells of strawberries and cream but I don't smell strawberries and cream it's a nice scent but to me it's more perfumey so um, I do like it and I don't find the scent really overpowering in my hair afterwards like I did with Candy Rain so yeah that's in my top 10 the next item I've been using a lot during March and I even kept it in my coat pocket um, is the carrot stick lip oil and this was part of the Easter range this year so you can still get it in the shops and I really like this um, I pop it on a few times a day um, at the beginning when I had sore lips as well I was probably using it seven or eight times a day and it lasts a long time as well so it still hasn't gone down that much considering I've been using it a lot so um, yeah I think this is quite good value as well um, if you like sweet like fruity scents um, I think you'd like this I can't um, taste the carrot in it it's quite sweet but yeah I really like that so definitely worth giving this a try and then the other item um, that I've been using quite a bit is the gummy bear shower jelly and once again this is from the Easter range I won't get him out of the pot because he has his head has fallen off I've been using him in the shower and I've also been using him as a hand soap as well so he has gone down a bit I really like the scent it's like mango and a little bit of black currant in there and when I was using it as a hand soap as well in the bathroom um, it left a lovely scent in the bathroom so as soon as you walked in you just got that really fruity scent but yeah really like this and this is still available as well and then this is an item that my boyfriend has been using a lot I and mean, whenever I I take it out I swap it out for something else he's like where's it gone um, and that is the Buzzy Mum soap so you can see it has gone down a bit he's lost his little smile um, so yeah my boyfriend really likes this and I wasn't too keen on the smell it's just personal preference but he re really does like it and he says it's very moisturising as well and I must admit comparing this to um, the flowering carrot soap I do find this more moisturising and it's lasted a long time because he has used it a lot so yeah this is um, worth buying as well or at least sniffing in the shop 
Um, it's, I think it's sweet wild orange I don't like, but um, yeah, he says he loves it, so it's one of his favourite shapes at the moment. And then the next item is the, and this is featured before as well, and I've been using it a lot, is the new shampoo bar. And I think I've used it 16 times now, so I'm keeping a tally, so I'm really curious to see how long these um, shampoo bars last. Um, but yeah, really like this. I just find it really suits my hair. I love the scent. It's like cinnamony um, and it's got ingredients in there to promote hair growth. And I really like the cork pots as well. So what I tend to do is when I, when I finished using it, I just prop it up at the back like this. So it dries all the way around. And if there was any moisture, it just goes into the cork and dries out really well. So yeah, I'd recommend these cork pots. Um, I think they're better than the tins. A little bit more bulky if you're traveling but it's easier to get the um, shampoo bar out of it as well um, so yeah really recommend the cool pot and the new shampoo bar and then the next item is another shampoo bar and that is um, soak and float so this is the one that my boyfriend's been using and he is generally very impressed with it. Um, he was quite sceptical when I got it for him. He wasn't sh never tried a shampoo bar before, but he's really surprised at how much it lathers up and the fact you don't need very much at all. Um, once again, we are counting how many uses, so he's on 20 at the moment. His seems bigger than mine. Uh, mine's gone down more. Um, though he has found one negative on this so far, so we are going to, I will do a review on this at the end, so I will mention what that is. But yeah, he's very impressed with this so far, and once again, um, we just pop it up in the little pot. And the next item is the Lime Bounty Body Butter, and I got this as part of the um, Christmas Advent calendar, I think it was. And um, it's not something I probably would have gone out to buy, but I actually really like it. It's very green, so it looks really fresh. You can see it's a lovely green colour. And um, the scent is lovely as well, it's really refreshing. And what I've been using it as is a hand cream. Um, you don't need very much at all, you only need a tiny bit. Um, you can see that it's gone down a, a fair bit, but um, you only need a tiny bit, so don't take out as much as you think you would need, um, because a little, once again, goes a long way. Um, I know I've seen some people complaining about the little lumps on top, but mine are all stuck to the lid at the moment, so it doesn't really affect me. Um, but yeah, I really like this as a hand cream. I haven't used it on my body at all yet. But yeah, I'd recommend trying this, or maybe having a sniff in the shop. And then the last item um, is something that I haven't been using, but my boyfriend's been using. And the more he's used it, the more he's liked it, actually. And that is the flowering carrot soap. And um, this has gone down a fair bit, but they do tend to last quite a long time, these soaps. And the other thing I've noticed, I don't know if, if, any, if any of you have got this soap and you've noticed it, but it seems to be quite rough along the top edge. So he quite likes that as well, because it's quite um, exfoliating if you want to use that on your hands. He tends to rub it most of the time on the underside. But yeah, it's come up like lumpy. I don't know if it's supposed to be doing that or not. Um, the scent wasn't for me really, it's like an earthy carrot scent, there's other soaps I prefer the scent of, but yeah, he likes it. Um, out of the two, he still prefers the Buzzy Mum soap, he still prefers this one, but yeah, he said he quite likes the carrot soap, so he is converted to um, naked bars of soap now, so he doesn't use liquid soap anymore. Unfortunately, I can't because my hands are really sensitive. Um, I remember now why years ago I went to liquid soap and that's because my hand just gets stripped by bars of soap and to the point that I start getting little lumps, I can feel some lumps along my finger here where I've been trying them out and I just need so much hand cream to get them back into condition. It's just, it's just me, just my sensitive hands and even washing up liquids is only one brand I can use so and that's why I think it's so important that I do a review of both of the things we like because obviously I won't be um, praising the hand soaps because they don't suit me, but he is. So those are the top 10 products for March. Um, be interesting to know if you agree with any of these things, if you've tried them. And um, if you like these videos, don't forget to press the like button, then I know what sort of videos you like. 
and don't forget to subscribe if you want to and um, I do have some more videos coming up some other ideas but otherwise thank you very much for watching hope you're having a good day and I will see you on the next video